Well hello there and welcome to issue number 123 and this issue is all about the Libra Tiger and as you can see on the caption prior to the video those are all the dates you have to be in to be in this Western and Eastern Astrological Combination sign so any questions, any messages post them on here, all, all comments are very very welcome and as I say I'll get back to you as soon as possible um, and um, as I say it's normally pretty quickly so you're more than welcome to post how you feel about the video and your and your um, vision and stuff as well. So, okay, let's start right at the beginning. Um, we've talked about the Libran and we've talked about the Tiger. So, what we have to do, we have to take the Libran as a youngster, which is a very, very balanced, um, intelligent, and a very people person. They get on very, very well with everybody. People do look up to Libra, and especially in the class, um, because they've got a lovely balance and a lovely poise. They don't jump, jump to conclusions, um, and they don't jump on one side or the other. There has to be a committed um, argument or a decision for them. So they're a very, very balanced and excellent friend. So they get on with everybody. You bring the tiger into the mix. The tiger is... Uh, very pioneering in spirit um, equally again excellent with people um, and their pioneering spirit they like to try different stuff they like to find new ways to do things um, they very much in, get involved in the group thing in the class so you've got a really really um, all round with a child here um, excellent in the groups um, very good leader qualities as well as I say because they're very balanced people can go to them um, and as I say, they don't judge too quickly. They step back a little bit. Whereas the tiger, as we know, is very justice orientated too. So is the Libra. And so it makes them excellently balanced and a friend for everybody. Um, they'd be a joy in the classroom because as I say, they everybody will be looking up to them and they keep a nice, nice um, controlled demeanour. So they're not rushing about, shouting about, or, uh, you know, just being a bit of a live wire they're very even even kill so it's great that the other children do look up to them so it keeps everybody nice and calm and and as I say um, work gets done very very well because it's a very um, even input you know everybody would get a say um, and as I say with the Libran um, Tiger everybody's opinion is important whether they go with that opinion is not always the case but they will definitely enjoy everybody's opinion, everybody's input, and then they'll make their balanced decision. Um, sometimes when the Libra um, is forced to make a decision, sometimes quickly, or they're not that great at that, but the Tiger then helps out. Um, it processes stuff quickly, so, okay, and then they will act. So, um, you're going to find that this is the area where they would like them to go into especially like the university colleges yes they will do this um uh, they love science they're very balanced to science um they're great at research programs they also have great physical balance so um gymnastics um skiing uh things like that uh motorcycle riding you know quite daredevil sports as well but with great initial base it's always the body balance as well as the mental balance you find Librans are very good at sports people because of this because of the way they um, syncopate the mind and the body um, makes them excellent and it makes them have an e excellent temperament for sport uh, gymnastics etc very very good as well uh, so you get this real integral character they will get to the top of student bodies through the point of fact where you know they're a great go between between um, the teacher, the teaching side of it, and the student side of it. They're very, very good there because they'll be saying, "Right, these are the problems. How's best to solve this?" And they're a great go between, and uh, that's a really good place for them to be in their life. Um, uh, that could be uh, an, an, an excellent uh, rep, holiday rep. Whereas people say, "Well, I'm not quite happy with this." Blah blah. They're the great go between between the companies. Um, also being a lawyer would be a fantastic job for them go-betweens accident lawyer compensation lawyer that sort of thing to say okay this wasn't right they mediate with companies brilliantly so there would be a great person to have in your team 
they're also a brilliant boss so um, if you want to hand down your business to anybody um, regardless of whatever it is because as I say their adaptability um, and their balance will see them progress in any environment and you'll be quite willing to pass this on to the, the company on to this person because you know the workers will be happy because they listen to their opinions will be noted um, and basically you're going to get a fair deal for everybody you're not going to have people in the, on the work floor going well you know what I mean I'm not really heard because you will be heard you'll be heard absolutely and if there are problems they'll be solved you know and if they think they're genuine problems they will be solved um, but they will appreciate you working hard for them as well so they're not just going to have people on the floor complaining at them, complaining at them. Yes, they listen, but they want a nice balance with work output as well. So people are going to have to be grafting. Otherwise, they won't go down too well with the Libra and Tiger because they will sift out people who may be just troublemakers. Uh, if you go to them too often and you're too uh, picky or aggressive towards other workers, then you won't last long because they need equilibrium, they need balance, they need output as much as you know a happy workforce so a fantastic boss this makes one thing um, when it comes to relationships with the um, the, the Libra and Tiger is sometimes they're a bit too balanced in the sense of making up their mind about a relationship um, once they do decide you know you always get a thousand percent that's no doubt in it but it is the decision making um, Sometimes I can look at the past of what some people have done and it can affect them a little bit, it can affect their judgments a little bit for the future um, in the sense of, oh, did that, or were they really capable of doing that? What they're going to be like if it, and they can cloud themselves with so many questions that can jump in and sometimes um, when it's on a personal heart level, um, they've got to leave that behind, you know, some people do things in the past that they're not proud of but it has to be left there um, and the Libra Tiger has to then say right that's, that is the past, let's, let's, let's cut that off um, sometimes when it's matters of the heart they're not so good at doing that um, you know not everybody's got a perfect background um, and one that they can feel or you know they've done no heart because everyone's done something wrong somewhere along the line or something that they're not proud of so they really do have to learn to say, right, that is in the past, that's not you now, um, because as they have a Libra and Tiger lives their life, they think, I've lived uh, a very, very justice-orientated life and a very balanced life, um, everybody else should have as well. But that's not the case, you know. Um, we have to get that little bit of forgiving side of the Libra and Tiger and say, look, you know, we start afresh, we start anew, and give that person a blank sheet of paper, um, and then I think then finding relationships will be a lot easier in that sense and um, as long as it doesn't go wrong while they're together then why worry what has been and so let's look at the perfect matches well I love horses with tigers because the horse has to drive the intelligence they also have that little bit of unpredictability which the tiger enjoys they love surprises um, the Libra and tiger will love a surprise now and then to take them you know, get the scales moving a bit and make them a bit whoa. So they really do love a little bit of excitement and the horse brings that to the table very, very much so. Um, so let's be looking at the Sagittarius horse, the Aquarius horse, the Gemini horse and the Leo horse. Really, really, really strong matches there. And as I say, plenty, plenty of fun, plenty of excitement and plenty of skillful output as well um, that can achieve so much together. And also the dogs. The dogs being very, very caring, um, they give good nurturing to the tiger. They really are, you know, a nurturing person for when the tiger's off there, um, taking in all these opinions, uh, fighting the causes for a lot of things, you know, and having real hectic, busy lives. The, ti uh, the dog really suits the tiger here, you know, there's a lot of real zoning in caring, and the tiger will really appreciate that real. Uh, you know that bloody-minded um, loyalty and and unwavering sort of compassion that the dog shows, and they really do have a wonderful caring match there. And the little things that the dog does, 
the little gestures that the title will really, really uh, feel appreciated. And, and, you know, because they do do so much good stuff, they will get the appreciation for it off of the dog. If we want to look at the ones to avoid, sorry, the dog uh, characters, we want Sagittarian, we want Aquarian, we want Gemini, and we want Leo of the dog uh, family. They are the better matches, the perfect matches. The ones we have to avoid for the tiger, well, it has to be the monkey, because they just are from a different hymn sheet. They really do work in different, different ways. The monkey, equally good in what they do, but they do it, we've spoken about the monkey, they get there, um, sometimes at any cost, they, they say, right, as long as I get there, um, they don't follow any formulas, um, whereas the tiger will have this right way of doing stuff, um, and they tend to think that the monkey is a little bit devious, a little bit um, underhand, um, this doesn't sit with the Libra Tiger because they like people to be up front um, and tell them, you know, what they're up to, uh, how they're going to go about things and how they see life. The monkey can be quite guarded in some sense and can be quite um, anxious and as long as they get there in their own minds, then it shouldn't concern anybody else. Well, that causes the problems. Um, and these two really, really uh, don't click at all. Um, and even in the workplace, there could be some, you know, vicious arguments and complete uh, sort of breakdowns there. So it's not good. It's not good. And as good as the um, management skills and um, people skills of the uh, Libra Tiger, they will feel very, very tested by the monkeys. So please, please avoid that union. Um, it only really ends up in one way, and that's in a bad way. If we look at the health of the Tiger Libra, well, again, we've got a very, very balanced person. They may come across a sporting injury um, because of their little bit of, you know, the great balance they have, but sometimes they may tend to go a little bit too quick around the track or something like that, or ski an incident. Um, but you know, on the whole, they live a great balanced life. They don't smoke in excess, they don't drink in excess. They're not an excessive person, so they have a very fundamental, um, great grounding for a very long and healthy life. Okay, thank you for listening in, and please join me for the next one. Thank you.